Uncertainty of the bill came after members of the National Council wanted clarity of the dependent children and spouses of the head of state and vice president in the bill. In this house where we pass bills, we can only pass a bill where any president, be it the president or the vice president, have one wife or one husband. Because let me be clear also, we don't make laws for the current sitting president. We make laws for all presidents to come, including if they will be female. So in this case, we don't allow polygamy. In the instance of the customary law that is currently there, that customary law provides for polygamy and not polyandry. But within the polygamy also, this bill that we are making, we don't acknowledge more than one wife even for a president to come or the sitting president or future presidents. It only acknowledged one wife or one husband. Mensa Williams said that the law cannot benefit for two wives or husbands. So in my sound mind, therefore, I cannot support polygamy and as practiced by some men. Neither will I support polyandry, which is what it is called if it's women doing it or practicing it, unlike what people believe. So polygamy, according to me, in our civil laws, is illegal while it is practiced by customary law, as we were also enlightened by our legal counsel. But customary law is not yet recognized through a piece of legislation, and therefore, Polygamy, as it stands, according to my interpretation, is therefore not legal in the laws that I defend and uphold as a lawmaker. The lawyers of the National Council is currently busy with final investigations into the matter. The third and final reading of the bill will continue in Parliament tomorrow morning.